Hi everyone, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will be going through some of my happy mail that I've received kind of towards the tail end of November into December. I think I've been doing a really good job not spending too, too much, but I still have quite a bit to show you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's start off with Miri Me Bell. I do have a discount code for her shop. I am one of her PR girls. So the, my code is Laura15, and you can also put my name in the notes to sell her to get my freebie. So let's start off with these foiled sheets here because I think these are really cute. And I think this is probably the first time that I've got so much foil from Miri shop. Typically I stick to like her kits. That's kind of my comfort zone, but she released a bunch of stuff for a foiled Friday. And I just thought all of this was too cute to pass up. So starting off here, we have these little um, like streamers, which are really pretty. I only pick them up in gold because I was originally thinking of using them for my New Year's Eve spread. I've since changed what I'm doing for New Year's. So I think I'll just save these for the future, even for like a birthday celebration. Celebration. These would be really cute. So got those streamers. Then the next set of sheets that I picked up were some of these snowflake um, dividers and swoops. They're kind of sticking together a little bit here. So you can see here, we've got some of these like corner swoop things and then just like the straight across dividers. And it's a mix of like stars, dots and snowflakes. So really, really pretty. So I have two in the silver foil. I have one in hollow, which is really pretty. I wish my camera did a better job of picking up on the hollow, but it is really gorgeous. And then the gold as well, because I typically don't use a ton of rose gold in the winter. I mean, it's happened, but typically I stick to hollow gold and silver. And then the next one that I have here is a bit of a sampler sheet. So you have some of these banners. And as I mentioned before, some have stars, some have snowflakes, some just have little dots. Then we have a few of the dividers, some little like star and snowflake confetti pieces, and then some of the swoops as well. And I just picked that one up in gold, but it's a good mix of all the different snowflake kind of elements. And then the next ones that I got, I have two here in hollow. These are just like the straight across like banner swoopy things. I keep like interchanging them because I just don't know the proper name for them, but I'm going to say they're banners. And again, with the stars and snowflakes, super pretty. So we have two in hollow and then one in silver. And then the final sheets that I have here are just the confetti pieces that match that collection. And I got them in silver, really good variety of like different sizes and different shapes to the different pieces. So we have silver, we have hollow, and then we have gold as well. So those are all of the foil pieces that I picked up. Great job with all of the foiling. It's pretty much impeccable. So really excited to dig into those around winter. And then I also picked up a kit while I was there. And I think this one is so gorgeous. So this kit is like a pastel luxe winter Christmassy kit and it's called All I Want and I always like to have some sort of pastel kit for the holidays and I thought this was a really perfect one. I also am definitely into all of the like luxe pattern stuff. I have so much luxe foil that would go great with this kit so I'm really excited to pull that in. These colors are just so pretty, so soft. I love this and I did choose the fashion girl with brown hair. There's lots of different options for you to choose from, but I just liked her the best. So there we have the full boxes. We have an extra two boxes up here, as well as like your weekly sidebar and your bottom washi, which I love that this is that thick um, strip of the Lux pattern. Then on this page, we have our date covers. And for the headers, I chose the blank option. You can choose to have scripts on these as well, but I just like the plain element and I'll add some foil on top of that. 
Then down here, these are all washi strips, and then you have a good assortment of layering options here with various sizes of flags, hexagons, and then little tiny elements down here as well. This sheet is definitely one of my favorites with lots of different box sizes, your habit trackers, and then down here along the bottom, you have various patterns. So you have like the circle in the pattern and then two of the solid ones, and then all three of these boxes have a pattern to them. The next page is more of like a variety of different patterned elements. So you can see on this sheet here, all of the boxes up along the top are all just like solid color. So on this sheet here, you're adding in more of the patterns, except this color here, which isn't featured on this page. So it just gives you an extra element of another color to pull in. You have some labels here and more of those like interesting shapes to pull in. So some circles, some squares, and then some of these half scallops as well. And then finally, this last page here, we have a tall box for the sidebar, or I guess you could use it in your spread if you wanted to, there's nothing stopping you. Uh, but we have this gorgeous girl here in the, on the side, and then lots of different deco pieces, some little functional icons, and a ton of scripts to pull in as well, your movie marquee, and then date dots along the bottom as well. So love Miri's format for her kits. This is the full kit version, but it just this is chock full of so much good stuff. So that is everything that I picked up from Miri Me Bell. As I mentioned, you can use code Laura15 to save. So next up we have Miss and Meow, and this was my Black Friday order. I did take it out of the envelope just for now because I wanted to remove my invoice, but I thought I would show you her beautiful packaging here. It's always so stunning. I love this really whimsical bow just blowing in the wind. And then we have the gorgeous wild flowers down at the bottom as well as Miss and Meow all in rose gold. So pretty. All right, let's get into my order here. I tried to be very purposeful with what I selected for my Black Friday shopping. I don't think I purchased too many kits because what I've realized and this is like an ongoing struggle for me is I have way too many kits and I did a huge kit clear out in the summer and I still have way too many kits but I just love them all and I really want to make sure that in 2022 I had use what I have versus just like always spending like crazy so long-winded way of saying I didn't pick up any kits from Miss and Meow although I did want them all so I will show you what I did grab. First up, we have some freebies here. This is a really cute freebie of Miss and Meow's new icons, which are so beautiful. I think she did a great job with them all. I think she actually mentioned she hired an artist to do these for her, which is great. They are all foiled with silver foil, very cute. And then we also have a little sampler here of a bunch of different box shapes. We have some of her swatches and then um, like square swatches, this little frame box, some with snowflakes, this little like hanging banner one, very cute. All right, so this is into my order now. I wanted to try out some journaling stuff, which, okay, I haven't gone through this yet, so it might be in a bit of a mess, um, but I wanted to try some of her journaling stuff. I picked up the Aura Estelle B6 Daily Planner, and so my thought process was I wanted journaling stickers to use in that planner, which will be more functional for me, I think, in 2022. I haven't really decided on my planner lineup for 2022. That is coming very soon, I hope, because uh, we're getting close to the new year. So what I picked up first were her monthly scripts. Uh, this is in the small format and you get a few months worth on here. So we have one, two, three, four. So we have four of each of the options. It starts with a this month and then you have all of the months of the year. So that times four. 
And then I also picked up these scripts for my weekly planning as well, weekly slash daily planning. Uh, and these, it looks like you have three versions of each. So it starts off with a this week, then you have all the days of the week, and it repeats three times. And that was in the medium size, I should say. And then finally, I also picked up the days of the week in the small size as well. And for this, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you get six weeks worth of the small scripts, including the this week and all of the days. I really, really like this font that she chose, and I'm excited to use these in that Aura Estelle and Annie Plans planner. Let's actually continue with the scripts here. So I'll show you this page. These are the script months in large. So my thought process for these, we're using them in the monthly section. So it looks like you have one of each of the months, which is totally perfect since I am using them on that like monthly spread. And then you do have a monthly sticker here as well. So again, really pretty and I like that she did give a variety of different sizes. So just so you can see the difference, this is large, this is medium, and this is small. And I don't know if all of these scripts are offered in the various sizes, but I think it just makes sense, especially for the monthly, to have the larger ones, and then the weeklies um, to have these like smaller sizes. So that is everything from a script standpoint. And then also for journaling pieces, I picked up two kits and I wanted to try them out on two different papers because journaling is new to me, so I wasn't sure what I would really want or need from a journaling kit. So first up, actually, let's start with this one. So this is transparent paper. You can kind of see my fingertips like behind the paper there. Um, so I'm really interested to try this because I haven't had a lot of experience with transparent paper or using this before, but this is her journaling kit called Aspen. And I really love this color story. I thought this was really pretty and soft for winter. So probably going to be one of my very first spreads in that B6 planner. So really gorgeous here along the top, you have some circles and some little teardrop shapes. You have a few scripts, including to do, to buy, bills, clean. So you can tell like very functional off the top but then you have various pieces here kind of looks like some torn paper along the edges you have various like floral pieces some deco elements with like this door and a little mug and then you have this beautiful um, circle piece with the florals around it and then more florals down here and then we have a few little like swatch boxes at the bottom as well so I'm excited to give this a try I just don't know with the trans transparent paper like if I have a pen that way I can use with it or if I'm gonna have to like layer stickers over top of these that I can actually write on so just wanted to order the transparent paper to give it a try so I will report back to you guys on how that performs but then I also wanted to pick up another kit with her premium matte paper just because I knew this would be something that I'd be very comfortable with the format of this kit is very similar with the dots, the scripts, the various um, like layering pieces and you know functional items and then the boxes along the bottom. So this is the Grace kit. And what really drew me in with this was the beautiful colors that we have here. So I'm really excited to use this. I love that this looks like a torn newspaper or something, very rustic vibes. And then because she also has a weekly kit using this clip art, I decided to pick up the deco that went along with it just to add in some more elements of that. And I thought again, as I'm experiencing experimenting and trying more with journaling, having some of these extra pieces, I'll see if I need it or if I can get away with using like a kit like this and I'm totally fine just having like one page. So the reason I got these is really just experimental for now. So I will definitely keep you guys posted on how that works out for me.
So also while I was there, I decided to pick up some functional stuff, including her Polaroid boxes, which I really love. And the fact that these are all kind of themed, I thought was perfect. So starting off, we have the Christmas Polaroid boxes. And I only picked these up in gold and in silver. Um, Typically Christmas, these are kind of the colors that I stick to. So I just got the two of those. These are really pretty. You have some various like um, little deco pieces on top of them, like a gingerbread man, little mittens. You have a hot cocoa or a Christmas tree, the Santa hat. And then you also have just some plain foiled ones along the bottom here as well. So that's silver and then gold is obviously the same, but just gold foiling. And then the next ones that I got were autumn. And of course it is like well into winter now, but I am so far behind on spreads that I still think I can use these for this year. Uh, and I know that my kits this year are really laying into gold and rose gold. So that's why I only picked up these two. I think silver would be really, really pretty as well, but I just knew based on the kits that I have currently in my lineup, I only needed these two foil colors. Oh, and I will just comment here here. So um, on this one, you do have a few different sizes. So this one is all like pretty much standard size boxes. This one's a little bit skinnier, I would say, and these ones are a little bit wider. Um, but on this one here, you have some like tinier ones that don't take up like the full width of the box. I don't think these do either, but you can definitely see there's like a size difference here. We have some with like leaves. This is almost like a branch kind of a piece. And then this one has a pumpkin. This one has a few like stacked pump pumpkins on it. So those are the autumn Polaroid boxes. And the last ones that I picked up, I decided to go all out and got all three foil colors here. Um, but these are the winter Polaroid boxes. Again, really, really pretty. Kind of more in line with that Christmas um, sheet in terms of the size of the boxes. They're all kind of the same size with this one in the middle being just a little bit narrower. Uh, but these are really gorgeous elements. You have just like simple pieces with the snowflakes, the little sweater here. This one is definitely a favorite of mine. Um, in particular with the silver one, I can see myself pulling that into the Twilight uh, kit from Christine's Paper Studio that has that like gorgeous tree line in it. So I think that would be a perfect box for that spread for sure. We also have the little like snowman and like snowflake elements. So really gorgeous. And I got that in all three foils. The final piece, I actually don't remember ordering or if Regina maybe threw this in for me, um, but it is this bottom washi or I guess it doesn't have to be bottom washi but it's an extremely dainty um, banner piece and it looks like this is all one piece across here and it is so like it's kiss cut like I don't even want to touch it um, but it's all kiss cut so it looks incredibly delicate and gorgeous and it has these little hanging snowflakes which is just so so pretty um, so I guess you could cut it up if you wanted to like use it over top of a full box or something, or you could, you know, place it all as one strip along your bottom washi. And then we also have these little divider pieces, um, or maybe like toppers, which are really cute. Oh, this is a thank you. Okay. So this was another freebie. I didn't realize that it was, it says thank you so much along the bottom here though. Um, but this is really, really beautiful. Very pretty. So that is everything that I picked up from Miss and Meow. I do have a referral link to her shop linked down below. So make sure to check that out in case you want to save some money. I highly recommend Regina's shop. The quality is always top notch and everything is just like so stunning and beautiful. So that is Miss and Meow. Next up, we have my newest addiction, which I think... This is my first order from her shop, if I'm not mistaken. I know I've checked her shop out several times, but I don't think I ever actually placed an order. Um, her shop is very nice though, and she's got lots of great stuff. 
So I'll start off here. This is the freebie that came with my order. Just various like icons and things here. Everything feels a little bit large to me. Um, so I don't know how functional that will be, but lots of different stuff on there. So let's get into the kit that I ordered. Because this is such a new shop to me, I'm not incredibly familiar with her kit format or which kit I actually picked up because I know she offered like a ton of different um, like tiers of kits or options for kits. And I think you could get things a la carte. So I'm still a little bit confused. And also this was a very long time ago that I placed this order. Um, it's just been sitting at my friend's house waiting for me. So it's, um, it's not fresh in my mind around like what kit size I ordered. So the kit that I got is called Snuggle and it is a really beautiful winter kit. And the thing that totally did me in for this kit one was this little puppy this foiled puppy sleeping in front of the fireplace but also the fact that this is a winter kit foiled in rose gold I feel like you don't see that a ton but I thought that was really pretty so wanted to pick this up I think there's some really fun elements here so like this box here to me is just like begging for a quote to be added there I also think like you have options with this box here to maybe add something like kind of fun in this box box here. I don't know what you would add, maybe some more like deco or something, but I just think, you know, it's a cute place. Or if you use this for like a holiday week, maybe you put like the holiday in there or something. I don't know. I just think it's like pretty, um, you know, neutral. So you could really customize it if you wanted to. So these are the full boxes. So you have nine of them. And then along the bottom here, you do have two labels. And then this label here is scalloped along the edge. The next sheet here is your bottom washi, which how gorgeous is this? We have, you know, this wood grain pattern with some watercolor flowers over top of it. And then here you have some like handwriting in foil, which is just like really pretty. It looks like someone's journal. And then we have our paint swatch. Uh, date covers and some headers in that same like wood grain and floral pattern along here and then it looks like along this part here it's just like various layering pieces so you have some hexagons some teardrops some circles some arrows various pieces like that the foiling looks gorgeous this next page, we have some half boxes with like a little dusting of foil along the top there. This one has a really cute dainty bow. All the foiling is like really beautiful. I can't get over it. So then we have six of these third boxes. These are all of those half scallop type boxes. You can see there. So you have three of those. These are, oh my goodness scalloped just along the one edge of the bottom that's consistent for all three of these and then you have that same uh, scalloped edge on these three boxes but they are more of a pattern and then we have oh my goodness it's like hard to see the cut lines on these but it looks like you have various layering pieces so you have a flag right there um it looks like you have a hexagon some like corner pieces um, and then down here, these are all of your headers. So you have three different versions of headers. You have the one with the wood grain pattern, which has bows foiled all over it. And then you have these really pretty pink foiled headers with the bow just kind of, you know, moving along in various different places. And then these headers are just your like simple confetti headers. So really gorgeous. Love that you get like three good options for headers. And then this last page here, this has some long flags along the top here. These are various like um, arrows with bows saying things like work, appointment, get it, call, and plan. Then you have some foiled icons. The icon themselves isn't foiled, but it just has little like uh, sprinkled foil confetti on them. Your weekly sidebar boxes, a habit tracker. I like this one as well. Instead of having like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can just like check off the little hearts instead. That's a really 
really cute habit tracker there. You have a bill due and then you have all of your fancy boxes down here at the bottom. So some squares with bows, some scallop circles, a few of these like fancy boxes here. These I know Laura is very famous for are these like little notepad boxes there. And then this looks like it's just like a flag piece. Um, the edges are cut out like super weird, like kind of jagged. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, kind of a weird one. And then you have one of these pillows with the eyelashes. So I believe that is the kit itself. And then I picked up a few of the extras or like the add-ons to go with it. So starting off with these snuggle trims. So these are various like floral trim add-ons. So we have this one that is like more long for the bottom washi or it's size to go for the bottom washi. You obviously don't have to use it that way, but if you wanted to, that's what it's sized for. Then you have various like swatch boxes. Um, this one down here is really pretty and unique. And then you have some more of these floral pieces. Um, if you wanted to use them kind of at the bottom or the top of a column for your date covers and the sidebar, just like lots of options for adding more florals into the kit. And then I also decided to pick up the deco sheet as well, just to bring in more of this. And my thought process with this, again, was to experiment and pull this into my journal. This feels like a lot of stickers for my journal. So what I'm hoping for is that I could maybe get like multiple weeks out of this. That is my hopes, like fingers crossed, because I think this was like pretty expensive and I don't want to not not expensive, but it was expensive in terms of using it in my functional planner. I spend way more when it comes to uh, my decorative planner, but when it comes to my functional planner, I'm trying to keep costs a little bit lower. So if I can get multiple spreads or multiple weeks out of one kit, that would be the goal for me. Um, with this deco sheet, I just thought this would be really good to supplement, add some more florals, some more deco pieces. You've even got like another quote here, which I could layer on top of like a swatch box or something. So I think this is really great and I'm excited again to experiment with that in my B6 journal. And then we also have the date dots that came along with that, which is awesome. So that is everything from my newest addiction. All right, and next up I have two orders in from White Deer Stationery. One of these was Black Friday, I think this one, and one was just a regular order. Um, when she does new releases, she typically offers like 20% off as well as free shipping in Canada. So I, you know, typically wait till she has new releases and then I stock up on everything that I need. And I haven't placed an order with her shop in a while. So that's why I kind of went ham and ordered again on Black Friday. So starting off, I'm going to show you this freebie, but I'm just going to, you know, destroy the little envelope that it comes in first. But I love her little doodles. They've definitely taken off, I would say, especially in the past, like, you know, year or so. I feel like everybody is using her shop right now. And I think that is so great to see a Canadian shop doing so, so well. So here is the uh, freebie that I got with my order. I love all of these. Definitely very functional. I think I have have most of them. I probably don't have the candy cane, but that's perfect for Christmas coming up. So excited to use all of those. All right. I wonder, should I just combine them? Yeah, it doesn't matter if one's from Black Friday and one's from another order. Let's just put them all together and we're going to have a pretty hefty little stack here, um, but I just couldn't resist. There were so many cute uh, new releases that I didn't have in my collection and a few that I'd wanted to like restock on because I do use her icons pretty frequently. So this is the other freebie that I got. You can see here um, just like a good mix of lots of different icons in her shop and she's actually like added to this so you get even more stickers on your freebie now. So that is wonderful. I love them all. I love her colorway especially like it's very soft and very pretty. So First up, I got these stockings, of course, with Christmas season. Thought these would be a great way to mark either like shopping for Christmas presents or actually like celebrating on the day of. And then I got some little mittens, of course, for winter. We get a lot of cold days here in Toronto. 
So I also picked up the grocery bag, which I feel like I had these in the past, but I can't remember, but thought they were really cute. And we do a lot of grocery shopping, so perfect. I also picked up the houses, the Hunter rain boots. I think these are adorable. Yeah, love those. And it's fun to have like different ways of marking, even things like going on a hike on like a, you know, fall day. I thought those would be really good to mark that. I got the frying pan the utensils this is the retractable leash and actually i think it was rachel from gathered plans was using this sticker in one of her spreads once and she made a comment that it looked like a mouse and now i cannot unsee that that is all i see when i look at this retractable leash but i i needed it and i do go on a lot of walks with my dog daisy so i thought that would be perfect to mark doing that i also got the book stack the kettlebells the wardrobe so my plan with this is like i can use it for you know putting laundry away and things like that but i also do like seasonal changes of my wardrobe so when i put my winter clothes away and bring out my summer clothes i thought this would be a really good way to mark that i also got the televisions the brush and dustpan the sofa and actually we just recently purchased a new couch so i don't know i had that in mind but it's like how often am i going to use these but hey even if i have a nap on the couch or just like a tv night i can use the sofa to mark that i got the compact makeup the film this is definitely a restock i use these quite frequently and i think i also got them later in the spread in the all pink edition um, because i can definitely use those i have so much to film we have cooking utensils the yoga mat a candle Oh, and I love that she has hockey stickers. It's really difficult to find hockey um, in a cute way to mark hockey in my planner. So I love that she has the little hockey sticks and the puck. I got the exercise bike, the treadmill, the dumbbells. I recently signed up for personal training. So I thought all of this would be a great way to mark my personal training sessions. I have the paw print the cars this was definitely a restock i go through a lot of these when i rent cars and then this is that sticker that i was mentioning she sometimes will release a limited edition colorway in like all pink so it says here up at the top like limited edition film so these are all pink and we'll definitely use that i think the pink icons are definitely my uh, most frequented so we got those and then i also got the laptop and coffee in the all pink version I got the pet collars, even to mark like Daisy going to the vet. I thought those would be good. The shopping carts, this was a restock. I love these, I think they're so cute. And the shopping baskets was a restock. I had the Keurig coffee machine, the aprons, the cutting board. Oh my gosh, I did not realize how many icons I got here. This is a little overwhelming. Um, we got the birthday cupcakes. The iced drink, I am an iced coffee stan. I drink iced coffee all year round, so I will definitely get good use of these. Actually, I was at Starbucks the other day and the barista was like kind of making fun of me for getting an iced coffee in the winter, but like, I don't know. I thought that was like a normal thing to do, but whatever. Uh, I also got the clouds just to mark either like a rainy day or just kind of a gloomy day or if I'm like feeling down I thought that was like an interesting way to mark that we got the measuring spoons the fitness watch the laundry basket oh my goodness there's so many the hangers we got pajamas. I'm sorry I'm going through these so quickly, but it's just like the stack, like we still have a hefty stack to go through. We have the bathrobes, the dirty dishes, uh, the party balloons, and I like this one um, because it's all one colorway. She does have another version of the balloons where it's like a mixed version of all the colors kind of together in one bouquet, uh, but I like that these are all separate. I think it'll be easier to pull into spreads that way. I got the cloud planners, the book and coffee, 
And I know these are hot coffees, but it doesn't really matter to me. I didn't, it doesn't matter that it's a hot coffee. I'll use it anyway. I got the ebook reader, which actually for Christmas this year, Mike got me a Kindle, which I think is perfect. So I knew I needed those. I got the calculators to mark budgeting, the headphones. We have makeup brushes, the laptop and coffees again, but again, these are in the various colorways. The other one that I had was the pink version. Whew. And then we have the box of ornaments. And if you guys didn't know, I did start an Etsy shop with one of my best friends and our first product that we were selling was Christmas ornaments. So I wanted to use this in my planner to mark like when we have a sale. Um, so I thought that was kind of fun. And then the book spines and then, oh, this looks like a freebie. So this was the over $75 Black Friday exclusive freebie. So no surprise that I spent over $75 because that is a lot of stickers here, but love that we have even more icons here. And then this was the first 50 orders. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Um, so we got even more um, icon doodle things to pull in. So I think I am set for White Deer Stationery for quite a while. At least I hope so. Until she has new releases probably. But that was like such a huge stack. So I just love her doodles. I love her colorway. And I do have a referral link down below in case you want to check her out. I just like cannot say enough amazing things. And I think she does offer free shipping in the US if you spend like a certain amount. So highly recommend that you check out White Deer Stationery. Next up, I have Scribble Prince Co. And this was a random pull that she did, I think back in November. And I got all the ultimate kits. I picked up 10 of them. And these are the versions that actually have glitter headers included in them. So I was super excited to pick these up. I, as I mentioned, I did pick up 10, which I believe was the maximum you were allowed to pick up of the ultimate kits. I think you could pick up um, maybe 10 mini kits as well, but I just decided I wanted to get the ultimates and that that was going to be good enough for me. Uh, I know I mentioned at the top of this video that I'm trying not to uh, purchase too many kits, but I just, I love a random pull. There's something about like the excitement of not knowing what I'm going to get. I just really get sucked into it every single time. This is the first time I will admit that I was a little bit disappointed with the selection that I got, but we'll get into that. Um, starting off, I'll show you this kit. This was called Planning Time, and I think this was an exclusive kit um, to like a bundle that she released. It was like a bundle of four kits and it had foil and like a print pression item. I didn't pick up that bundle, but I do really like this kit. I think it's really pretty, kind of an anytime planning kit. The colors are gorgeous, very neutral um, with the like monochromatic pinks here. I just think it's gorgeous. And as I mentioned, this is the ultimate version. So I'm gonna flip through this version of the kit knowing that all of the other ones are kind of the same format i won't flip through them all just to save us all a little bit of time but you can see here it's like the standard ultimate format and then we have the extra boxes here i think because this was a mystery kit that's why it's like this mystery format and then we have the extra fashion girls washi strip all of that so that was the planning time kit which i'm very happy to have that Let's go through the other kits. All right, so I've kind of divided these up a little bit. All right, so that first kit, and then we have these three kits. So we have where to next, so almost like a landmark traveling kit. And then we have Peachy, which is really cute, um, like almost like springtime art, still feels very like fresh and beautiful. Sorry for the glare. Um, and then we also have this one, which is called Sunrise Beach. Again, really pretty. I love the colors of this, just like feels very summery and pretty. So these four kits 
are kits that I don't have from, you know, SPC or from other shops. Like this artwork um, was unique and that was four out of the 10 kits. And out of these four kits, I would say I really only you know, genuinely like two of them. I kind of like this one because I really like the color scheme of it and the theme, but I'm not like totally sold on it. And this kit, I just like can't ever imagine a week where I would want to use all of these. Like, cause if I was traveling and going to Italy, like I wouldn't want a box or like a kit with, you know, Paris in it or New York in it. So I'm, I'm struggling to think of like the right occasion to use this travel kit, but I'm also just kind of like not super into it. As I mentioned, this one, I love the colors, but I just don't know if I would ever actually use it. So out of those four, I'm really only keen on these two and feel like I would actually use these two. The next two kits. Um, love both of these. So we have here, this is called Evermore. I absolutely love this artwork. It's almost like that cottage core um, vibe to it. And then we also have Beach Day, which again, love, love, love this artwork. I think it is so beautiful, so summery. But both of these kits, I already have this artwork from another shop, which that's the risk that you take when you buy a random pull. So that is totally on me and I get it. Um, and I still might use these, especially as I'm talking about my, you know, journaling planner. You know, these could be kits that I would pull into that and use the extras from my other versions of these kits as well. So those I'm, I'm sort of happy about. The next four kits. I'm disappointed in and not because I don't like the kits but because I already have them all and not just like I have this artwork from other shops because this is exclusive artwork but it's because they're all mystery kits and I'm subscribed to the mystery I've been subscribed for a really long time uh, so I just I have all of these and they're not mysteries that were like so old um, that I wouldn't have had them so it's just like I've recently, you know, already had these. I haven't even used any of them yet. So to get them in this mystery, like random poll is like a little bit disappointing. So we have the May 2021 mystery. This one actually did come with the foil as well, which is, you know, super appreciated. And then we have the March 2021 mystery. This one did not come with the foil, but I do love the theme of this so much. It's like a farmer's market, like fresh fruit stand. Ugh, I love that one so much. Um, it's just the fact that I already own it. That's the only thing. And then we have the Feb 2021 mystery. Again, really, really love this kit. It's so beautiful. The colors are just like, oh, so perfect. Uh, it's just the fact that I already own it. And then we have the January 2021 mystery as well. So these three did not come with the foil. You can see here. Um, but this one it did come with that like really pretty orange foil. So out of the 10 kits, it's like four I already owned, two I already owned the artwork like in another kit, um, two of them I just didn't really like, and then two of them I actually really enjoyed and didn't have the artwork from another uh, shop. So out of 10 kits to have two that I'm like just excited about is a little bit disappointing, but that is 100% on me. That is the risk that you take when you purchase mystery um, misfits. So I take 100% of the blame on that. It's just like disappointing. And I wish maybe that there was like a separate, you know, misfit pull for mystery subscriptions uh because then i wouldn't buy it but i get it. It, it that's probably too difficult for the shop to achieve that especially with the volume of you know sales that they go through the one thing that i will say is great about these is i you know have the opportunity because i have you know an instagram page and a youtube channel 
I will be doing giveaways with all of these kits. I'm thinking for my birthday in March, I want to do like a massive giveaway um, and have a bunch of different winners. So stay tuned. This kind of got me thinking about that. If like maybe I will save all of these kits and instead of trying to sell them, I'm just going to, you know, give them away to people. Uh, so maybe I'll do like two or three winners and I'm going to collect some items from other shops as well because it's been a while since I've done a giveaway and I always want to show how much I appreciate you guys and I also want these kits to go to a good home. So stay tuned, more to come on that. Um, but that was everything from the Misfit poll. I also have the December 2021 mystery. So let me get into that as well. Just so you know, I do have other items coming up in this haul. So I'll put maybe a timestamp of where to skip to in case you don't want to be spoiled by the December 2021 mystery. So here is the kit. It's like a self-care um, spa type of kit and I think it's really really beautiful I love these purple and indigo I just think it's super gorgeous uh, I can really see myself using this I wish that I had this maybe last year for my bridal shower week or not my bridal shower my bachelorette party because we went to a really fancy spa so I think this would have been perfect for that but just gives me another excuse to go to a spa and do a little bit of self-care so we have our full boxes here. Then you have a tall box of this girl. This is that ultimate mystery format. Really gorgeous. See like this color story is so beautiful. Love all of this. Obviously gives me April vibes. Still going off those old EC colors from back in the day. This tile is super pretty as well. And then your extra fashion girls, and then more labels and boxes. And then you get the alternate skin tones here of this box with the, the nails. And then the redhead girl, your bottom washi as well. So that was the kit for December. And then you also got foil to go along with it. This one I really like. It's actually like a change up. We've been having silver for like the past like four months or something. So it's nice to have a different foil and more of a fun foil to pair with this. So we have Lavender Hollow, which is quickly becoming one of my all-time like favorite foils to pull in. I just feel like it matches a lot of different kits really well. Um, so this is in the star format. So you have your full box overlays here and then header overlays. So you get two boxes of that, or sorry, two sheets of that. And then you also get two sheets of the bougie box underlays. And then this sheet here has the foiled icons, scripts, uh, your weekend banner as well. And then the last page, you have some of these uh, like deco headers and then your bottom washi overlay, little deco stars and your date dots as well. So that is the December 2021 mystery from SPC. I'm really happy with it. I think it's quite gorgeous and definitely something that I will use in the near future. So that's it from Scribble Prints Co. for this haul. Next up, we have an order from Aura Estelle. Open this up. So this is that planner that I've been referring to kind of throughout um, the video around my B6 uh, planner that I'm using more from like a journaling perspective. But this is the Aura Estelle and Annie Plans um, weekly notebook. So I have both the daily version as well as the weekly version. She released Oops versions of these. So this is an Oops one. I don't really know what is wrong with it. I haven't done like a really deep dive into it. But I will say right off the bat, what I've noticed is I prefer the paper in the weekly notebook versus the daily one. I actually, I might have the daily one here. So I'm just going to pull this out really quickly. I had hauled this in the past. So I'll link the version where I went through this planner in a bit more detail but I do have the daily version already tucked in the case here. 
So this paper is very, very thin. It almost reminds me of like Bible paper. That's such like a weird way of saying it, but it's just like very flimsy, very, very thin. And I haven't done a pen test in here, but I'm assuming everything will kind of bleed through it. So not looking forward to that, but I will do a pen test and see if I can find something that might work with it. But in this weekly version, I have noticed that the paper is like ever so slightly thicker, which I do enjoy that aspect of it. The layout is slightly different. Actually, it's not slightly different. It, it is different. Um, but starting off at the top here, this is the same where you have kind of like a yearly overview. You can put the month along the top. And then if you're doing like a habit tracker or something like that, I think they're um, I thought there was a sample of it. Yeah, here. So in these yearly overviews, it's like you can write like a highlight for the day. You can do some sort of like mood tracker or a habit tracker if you wanted, or just using it to mark like memorable days, um, like birthdays, you know, anniversaries, etc. Or you can use it whatever way that you want to. So you have the yearly overview up front. And then from there, you go into your monthly section. And then you have these grid pages here and then another monthly and it just continues on like that for your 12 months, I believe. And then I just want to show you what the weekly overview looks like. So after that final two grid pages, you go right into your weekly layout. And how this works is you have like a box up here along the top, you have kind of this sidebar box, and then another square in here. And that is the same. So you have two of those on each page, and it just continues on. So you can divide this up in any way that you want to. You can just like have continuous days or you can have like a this week section and then have the rest of your week kind of continue on the next four pages. Totally up to you how you want to plan or how you want to do it. If you wanted, you could do this as like an entire day. So like have, you know, Monday, Tuesday. I think there's like so much flexibility, like Wednesday, Thursday. You can divide this up in any way that you want. This is not dated. Um, it's really very neutral. So you can divide it up however you wanted to. If this was like morning and then evening, however you want to lay it out. I think within this little notebook here, um, she does explain kind of like how to do either like the weekly pages and then have a box for each. Or if you wanted to do a week on four pages, that's how that would work. So just to give you an idea of how you could, um, you know, use this, use this planner functionally for you. And then at the back here, you do have lots of room for um, like writing down notes and things like that. It's just like, um, what do you call it? Like a grid space here. And I did do a bit of a pen test just to see, um, even with this being thicker paper, I wanted to see how my pens performed. I will be doing the same in the daily planner as well. So the top one here, which actually maybe I should try and zoom in a little bit. The top one here is the Klenna Energel uh, gel pen. And then I have like just a simply gilded gel pen. This swatch here is a mild liner gel pen, or sorry, a mild liner highlighter. And then this swatch here is a Crayola Super Tips marker. So you can see pretty much all of them didn't bleed through. I wouldn't say that's a bleed through. It's more of like ghosting or shadowing, um, but you can clearly see even the swatches of like the markers and that simply gilded pen, like you can completely see through it. Those are really the only pens that I currently have other than Sharpies, but like I know a Sharpie would bleed through this like crazy. So I don't really know what pen I'm going to use. So if you have any recommendations or if you've been using this planner at all, please let me know because I'm definitely struggling since this is a functional planner, I'm hoping that it won't bother me too much to have that bleed through or that ghosting on the other side. But with the daily planner, I know that's going to drive me nuts because the paper is just like so incredibly thin. I'm like, do I go back to using pencil in my planner? I 
I truly don't know what to do with the daily version. Um, but that's it for the weekly one. And for this, I did pick up another cover here. So this is the tan cover. And I just thought this was super pretty. I wanted something neutral that just like wasn't black, wasn't white because I have uh, those in my cloud planners and I just like wanted something different. And I didn't want another pink one given that I already have um, this one here. And this actually leans a little bit more on that like cool white side. So I wanted something different. And I also didn't want like a scalloped one either. Um, I'm not incredibly happy with how this one uh, came out. Like the scallops here are a very different color. Like the edges are a very different color than the planner itself. And I'm just like kind of disappointed with this one. So I wanted to try something different and I actually really liked how professional this one looked, how clean it looked. The color is a little bit more like peachy than I was initially expecting. You can see it does lean more in that like warmer yellow tone, but I do think it is quite pretty. And I think once I have this decorated, it's gonna look really great. So I like that we have this pocket here, but it's like the straight edge. I just think that looks really nice and clean. Same thing here, like the pockets are just like very clean, very neutral. Everything in here just feels very sophisticated. I also really like the little uh, page marker. So I'm excited to set this one up and I think the black of um, the planner itself actually looks really, really nice in here. So this I'm just like, you know, over the moon for. I think it looks great. We also have the pen loops over here and the silver hardware. And I also like this one. You don't see the button on the outside. Um, I keep grabbing this. I should just keep it closer. But you can see here you have that like silver button on the outside, which does look really pretty. It's just like, I like how clean and neutral this one is. So that was everything that I got from Aura Estelle. Please, if you have any recommendations for pens, leave them down in the comments below. I'm sure I'm not the only one struggling. So I'm excited to see if you guys have any recommendations. Last couple items here. I recently purchased a Cricut machine. Uh, and so I decided on Boxing Day, Michael's was having a sale. So I wanted to pick up a few accessories for my Cricut machine. So I started off by purchasing the Ultimate Fine Point Pen Set with all of these different colors. There's 30 colors in here. So I think I will be set for a while. So many different options. I thought this would be great for just like creating labels or, um, maybe doing like greeting cards. I like the option of having the pens. And I also thought like, I could probably just like use these as pens in general. Maybe I should try these out in the Aura style and see if they bleed through. Um, so I picked those up and Michael's was having like a sale for boxing week. I think it was like 40% off all Cricut items. So I also got this little set here. This is a basic tool set with scissors, the little like scraper, the tweezers, which I actually think I'm gonna use these tweezers for planning, the little scraper and then the weeding tool. And then finally, the only other thing that I picked up was some vinyl in both black and white. Figured those were pretty neutral colors, so definitely we'll bring those in. And that is everything that I got from Michaels. So last thing here, this is the Inspira Wellness Planner. So I had this planner for 2021 and it is a wellness themed planner. Um, so Jordan Shrinks, who is a YouTuber here, um, she, you know, lost a lot of weight and, you know, she's great for giving like health tips and things like that. So she released a wellness planner last year and I purchased it and I really loved it. It was super helpful for me with, you know, weight loss in general. It just like helped me stay very organized and very focused on my goals my you know workout routines my eating habits all of that stuff so when she announced she was going to be releasing another planner for 2022 i knew that i was going to be picking this up i am planning on doing like a more in-depth version of like going through this planner but i thought i would share it with you guys as part of this haul and let me know if you do have any specific questions about it because i am going to keep it pretty top level um for today's video 
um, I think in my planner stack video for 2022, I'll go more in depth. Uh, but you did get this really pretty journaling card. There were three different versions of the planner that you could get. The one that I got was called Pastel Witch. So there was like a tattoo version, like a really neon and black version, or there was this pastel one. So you got this thank you card. So the person here, Jordan Shrinks, that is uh, the YouTuber that I was referring to. So she's great. So the planner itself, she's made a ton of updates year over year on this. And I think it is so beautiful. We have a great wire um, coil this year. It's like pretty thick, but I mean, I don't put stickers in here, so that's okay. It doesn't really bother me, but I'm just glad that she upgraded the coil. Last year, it was like that wire O binding, which I just hated. And then this is like a hard um, cardboard cover, um, but really durable and beautiful with the silver foiling on here. And all of the artwork, um, I believe she commissioned um, separate artists to do each of the three planners. And I think the artwork is really beautiful. It's not completely up my alley, but I think it's like really unique and just like beautiful in general. So you have your belongs to, this is where you put like your inspirations for the year. And this actually really helped level set me in 2021 as well as your aspirations, like goals, mental health goals, self-love goals. I love that it's not just about like, you know, your physical, it's about your mental. It's about like how you see yourself as a person and you have a vision board, which I think this is new for this year, but I'm excited to get into that and a little like mind mapping exercise, your 2022 calendar. And then every month I think starts off with, you know, level setting. So for this version, it's, you know, looking at 2021 in review, uh, something that made me proud, something I can work on, a lesson that I learned and something that I am grateful for. Then you get into setting your goals for the next month. So we have our January section and then you have a space for five habits that you can track throughout the month. And I love that she added this here. It was previously in the weekly sections, but I think it's great to look at habits across like the full 30 days or 31 days. So I like that she made that change there. We have this beautiful cover art for the month. And then we get right into the monthly section. So what I was tracking here previously was days that I needed to take my medication. And every day I would track my, my weight so I could see how it progressed over the course of the month. And then you have a body check-in along here just to track your measurements. One thing that I find very odd, and it's still not in this planner, is there's no waist measurement. It's like your hips, but not your waist. I don't know, like to me, my waist is something that changes like pretty significantly with weight loss or weight gain. So I'm surprised that like your waist isn't something that you would measure as part of this. But typically I just like take one of these lines up here and I just like write in what my waist measurement is. And I wanna show you guys the full, weekly layout. So I'm going to jump into January 3rd. That's another thing that I find really odd about this planner is that it starts on Thursday, like Thursday the 30th. Like that's such a weird start date. Um, I understand that you probably wanted to have January 1st be a part of the calendar, but then start it on the Monday, start it on December 27th. Why start it on December 30th? Like to me, I just like don't get it. It probably has something to do with the number of pages or whatever. But like to me, it's just so weird to start a planner on a Thursday. So that like irks me a little bit. But let's jump in. I will show you the full weekly layout here. So you have a grocery list on the side as well as a note section. And then every day, the way that I would use this is you have kind of this blank box. And the way I was using it was kind of like a checklist of things that I wanted to do. So um, because it's not just around like physical health, like working out and eating and all of that stuff, I would put like self-care routines that I wanted to do. Things that I wanted to do around the household to take care of like my physical space. All of that to me is very like self-care. So I would use that um, for that space up here. Also to mark things like appointments, like again, this is very functional for me. And then you have a space for today's workout. I would also mark, this space was like a little bit bigger last year, um, but I would mark um, not only my workout, but how many steps I got for the day as well. 
And then you have your food tracker, so breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, and then a hydration tracker along the bottom here as well. And I found like my writing is too big to use these little boxes. So what I would actually do is track how many points I was consuming for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And I would kind of like try to compare how I felt each day and how my points were spread out across the day. Like, oh, I used a ton of points at the beginning of the day and I was really, really hungry that night, maybe I'll try a more even spread of like spreading out my, my points throughout the day. I think you could do that probably with calories too, but I just thought that was interesting. So that is the layout. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday to Sunday on the following two pages. So you can definitely, you know, add stickers, washi this up or whatever you want to add colorful pens and markers. Uh, the paper is like a really beautiful, nice white paper. Um, and it's like very neutral. So I don't know, it's really pretty. Um, but you can add, you know, your own flair to it and make it really special. So as I mentioned, again, at the end of the month, you have your January in review. As you'll remember on the previous one, it was 2021 in review. Now you're just commenting on the month prior and then setting your intentions for February. So I will just show you some of this like artwork that is featured on the monthly sections. Like February is gorgeous. Then we have March with all the various like mushrooms and foliage. Foil foliage foliage uh then we have april which is like probably my favorite month with all of the like celestial elements with the moon phases then we have may june july that's a gorgeous one too with the honeycomb and the daisies and then we have august september october November like that's super cute with a little like toadstool house and then we have December as well and then I think in the back here we have this year in review and then setting goals for 2023 you have a recipe section and then a medication tracker which I believe is new for this year so that's great and then you just have some dot grid pages you have quite a few of those actually if you wanted to write some notes and then she also included stickers for this year which you know as a, a planner I am very very happy to have these so you have some fitness style stickers little scales you know if you wanted to monitor your heart rate some kettlebells uh, exercise bikes and then this one is more so around like reminders for medication you know sleep tracking appointments and all of that so two of those pages of stickers and then you have a really nice pocket back here it's not the most sturdy thing like mine is definitely like lifting up here around the corner as well or already and then you do have a strap if you wanted to put that on your planner too so that is the 2022 inspira wellness planner i will have it linked below in case you want to check it out i don't think the pastel witch version is available anymore but the tattoo version and then the neon one those i think are available and they're all available as digital versions too so you don't have to buy the physical one if you don't want to so that is everything from inspira all right so that is everything that i have for you guys today i hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe got to see some newer shops um i'm really excited about everything that i have here um i think everything has like a purpose or a function for me and that's definitely my intention going into 2022 is to be very mindful about my purchases moving forward and to really consider you know what i have versus like what i need versus like what i want so I'm really excited about 2022. Again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you will consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. All of that really does help out my channel so much. I have lots of good content coming your way really soon, so make sure you stick around for that. I hope you are all doing well, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye!